I want to make this a video for changing. This is a waterways, your air control valve. This is a uh, Sunbelt Spa. And you notice this one is just basically doesn't hardly even do anything anymore. So you can, if you got to change these, um, this is the whole, this is the whole air valve here that you can buy. And if you're going to change this whole assembly, this is uh, inside the, is PVC uh, glued inside the, the spa. So to change this whole thing is a big problem. But you don't have to change the whole thing. All you have to do is change the inners. Um, they probably sell a kit for it, but I couldn't find it. It's only $12 for the entire valve. This is a waterways air control valve. All that's in this valve, if you look down inside, that's what it's going to look like inside the spa. All there is is a ball. The ball goes in first. This goes in the next, and then you screw. Then you screw the top on, uh, which is all one piece here. This is the the control. So what happens in here when you take this off? Remove the cover. This is the switch. Now, if you look down in mine, if you can see in there the. Uh, there's a lot of goop and the, the seal is basically gone around here and that's why I'm losing a lot of uh, force in the, in the jacuzzi. The valves are just closing and not opening and closing. So I'm going through and changing each one of them in the jacuzzi. Uh, this one over here is for the waterfall. It barely even turns. So there's a lot of problems. So all you got to do is reach down in here with some needle nose, pull this out, pull the seal out. You can you know you can either leave the old ball in there or put a new ball in. Pause. So we got some needle nose here. We're gonna pull out the old seal. Try and get it out. Got a bunch of gook around it too. Fun trying to do this with one hand. Oh, it's just deteriorated right to nothing. So let's pause this. So this is what's left of the seal that I got out. You see the ball is still down in there. You can get something to get the ball out, but really there's nothing wrong with the ball. So just going to put the new seal in. Got all the garbage out of there. Okay. So there's nothing wrong with the ball. Put the new seal in. Wide part goes to the top. The seal is in there. Put your top on. Here's the new one. There's two little ears on here. You'll see they, they go in. Just line those up. Screw it on. Bingo. New switch. That's all there is to changing the air valve. You don't have to un undo anything or anything. But as you can see, this was just gone, the seal. If you take it back off again, you can see now that the seal is down in there nicely. And it'll increase the uh, performance of your jacuzzi. So, hope this helps you out. So we replaced the uh, other couple of them here. Show you how you get the ball out. Just use a little bit of glue on the end. Stick it down in and grab the ball. Um, this one here is the waterfall control. Whoop. As you can see, this one won't even turn. The top is broken. So I've got to get the inside out. Pause this a minute. So this is actually a different kind of valve here on this one. Just a matter of cleaning it up. It didn't want to turn. So I'm going to have to just clean this up all inside here. So it'll turn. This controls the waterfall. And we'll just clean this one up. Here's a little trick for getting the old ball out. You can see once the old ball's out. Put a little glue. I use a little uh, heavy duty uh, 
wood glue on here. Yes, kitty. Yes, this retains in it. <laughs> Kitty's a pain. Get the ball out and just drop the new ball in, put the seal in, put the cover on. So we fixed the waterfall switch. Uh, it was just a matter of clean. This it doesn't have a ball valve inside, but it wouldn't turn. It was just dirty. So I just took it out, cleaned it up. I think we're using bromine. It gets uh, now we now it works nicely. It wouldn't even move before. But uh, everything's working good now. All the control valves are working. Air control. This one here. Although I've never been able to quite figure out what this one does because it doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> but uh, hope that saves you some trouble.